Hey Vogue, it's Doja Cat. I'm about to show you a look that I do pretty often. Um, it's like my e-girl, like sickly look where I look like I just woke up and blew my nose and I have pneumonia. So let's do that. I'm gonna start with skincare. I do a face wash and I use Tatcha. Get all that night mask off. I'm doing this uh, exfoliating powder. My hands are a little wet, so it kind of turns it into a paste. All right, now you look like the Michelin man. That's a good thing. I do this like twice a day. I'm gonna rinse it off. Then after this, I dry my face off and I make sure it's super dry. So I use this peel, I don't use any other peel, Skin Ink Pure Revival Peel. And I let it kind of like sit there for like five seconds. And then I start to go in circles around my nose first. My face comes off. That's like a horror movie. Rinse that off and it should look all grainy and crazy like that. So then after I do that, I dry my face and then I do witch hazel. Kind of prepare it for everything else. It's kind of like a base. I put a base after the base. So this is an essence. I do like a few drops, but it's very watery. And then you just rub that around. When you slap your face, you're bringing kind of the, the blood to the surface. So then after that, you do a serum. I do like one of those and then go crazy. Then after I do my serum, I do my eye cream, like that much. Boom, swirl it. You're supposed to be pretty gentle, but I'm not. And I use it as a lip balm. After that, my cream, boom, I use my nail. So what, like that much? Put it on my face. Sunscreen, I take it. This one evaporates really nice. Put that on and pat it in. Put an oil on top of your moisturizer. It holds it down all day. I go one, two, three, four, five. And it's gonna make you look sweaty, but that's okay. And the oil mixes with your foundation and it makes it look a lot more natural. That's it. So that's my skincare routine. I learned about skincare being on the internet a lot and watching pretty much this. So basically I travel with all of these products, but I put it in like a box and it's filthy, but it works. My next favorite thing in the whole world, Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil. This works better than anything I've ever tried for my beauty blender, and I put it on my beauty blender. Ah, it goes stupid. I roll it around, and then I just keep going like this, right? Over the sink. I mix it with water. First, with my makeup, I color correct. I take this concealer brush, I go in, to this color corrector. This is by Becca Cosmetics. And then I start to go over my circles. I started doing makeup when I was 13. Wore a lot of eyeliner, a lot, like Amy Winehouse. I do my foundation next, and I use Fenty. Two pumps of that, but then I do it across my cheeks, and then I just make sure I get it all over. I just keep building depending on how I feel. I go over my eye, I go over my eyelashes, I don't go over my brows. So I put concealer. I use Fenty. So then I take it and I just make a little boat under my eye. And then I do a little a little soul patch, like a villain, like a, like a Disney villain. And then uh, and then I blend that out. The next step, this Laura Mercier powder is my daddy. So I go in with my sponge. So then I put that right on my cheeks, just in the center, because I don't like when this is shiny. Everything else can be shiny. And I make sure that all of this is blended under here because I do have fine lines. This fluffy eyeshadow brush, like a blending brush. And then I press it in here. And this makes it so that none of that fine line shit happens. And then I take this and I brush it 
I flick it out like this. I try not to swipe it onto my face or push it down. We want like a very thin layer, but just enough to hold everything. I take this foundation brush, and it's kind of flat like that, and I go like this. I just massage it. Don't look at my hairline. This isn't necessarily baking. It kind of is. It's like a mini bake. Whatever's kind of left over, swirl that around. And just put that down. Close this, shake it, rub it. I take this and I get a lot on my beauty blender and I just. I just baked and you can see I created a cheekbone. I always contour with, with bronzer. Yeah, this is like every day for me. And I go under my lip and this kind of creates like a shadow. And then I go under my chin, I take it down into like my nose, but I start from here, create that shadow. I blend this out. Next, I do my blush and I just swirl it around, okay? And I get a lot on there too, because I like a lot. Tap it off and just work on the edges and I bring my blush up. Because I like a high cheekbone, I always make sure it's higher than lower. Because you can go like this and work down here, but that'll bring your face down. Make it appear older and longer. But if you work it up, you're kind of creating your own apples. I remember being on Pinterest. I didn't even know what an e-girl was. I just saw these like Tumblr girls who were like super cute and they had like the, looked like they were sick, but it was like intentional. Like you could see they were wearing a lot of makeup and I like fell in love with that. So I bit that and now I do that. I just start packing it onto my nose and I scrub it. I scrub my nose pretty much. I scrub it on the sides. I get under it on the sides, bam. And what happens, it fades during the day. It doesn't look as pink, but I just work that into my face. And then I like to get a little bit on my lips. And then I take a little bit onto my eyelids because I watched an episode of this that uh, Tinashe did and she puts it on her eyelids. And I'm like, oh word. And then I take my bronzer and I swirl it around. And I focus on my outer area because it just looks better on me. This is very watery, like a very liquidy blush. And I would take it the tiniest bit and I just pat it on my nose. And then right on top, you can also, what's great is you can put liquid blush on top of powder. I do my brows. I do like a little Spock, like a mini Spock brow. Just a little angly brush. And I start shaping it. I just flick that out. It's kind of like eyeliner to me. Very fine angle brush. I used a cream eyeliner. With this, it just looks more natural. I would use my less finer brush, but this one just really creates like a fake hair moment. I'm trying to do it fast for you guys, but this takes me an hour and a half maybe sometimes. Cause I enjoy doing it. If I have time, I will take my time. And then I'm also measuring where the ends drop down and meet. I want that to be generally straight. Then this is my favorite part. I take my powder and I shake it up and then I put the powder over my brows. And I swear by this because I see girls with their brows and they'll do it and it'll be shiny and light will be reflecting off of their brows. It like deletes their brows. When you mattify them, it just looks more real. You get the color to come out. There is a brow there. Then I take my brush, I go under, over, and then I just start doing this little kind of beat. After I do brows, I do my mascara, which is fire. I always appreciated like Harajuku culture. They do this um, in Japan, they bring the blush up and they do it over the nose and they kind of put it in the center. And I always kind of wanted that cartoon-esque look. So this is Cover Effects. It's like a cream highlight. I just put a little bit and honestly I'm running out so I just kind of have to scrape it off. And I put it on my nose. 
put it here and it dries so fast so you have to work really fast i'll probably go over this with a little bit of the powder blush just to like match it back so just a little bit I'll probably pounce it on top take a little bit more and kind of work it upward and i focus on the part that i want it to highlight and then i'm gonna just blend this out too i got a little bit of creasing here and it should kind of look like that a little bit of a glow so i take a cotton pad and i put any makeup remover on it oh a little splash splash just go over the inside of my lips i try not to go too much on the outside because i put blush there to sort of blend that out it looks a little bit because uh, my lips are very red i take this flat dense brush and i blend that back in i highlight my cupid's bow as well so i just put a little bit and i do my chin as well i do a little bit there and i really try to blend that because that can look crazy sometimes you can bring the blush onto the top lip and just work that upward. And then maybe a little on the bottom. And it can kind of make you look like you had a popsicle or something. I do have a half done liner right now. This is the scary part. This is where everybody starts sweating. But I basically take this, make sure it's nice and wet. And then I just kind of create an angle first. I like to create like a triangle, like a wing, like suspend it and then connect it just like this. Start bringing it in. And this just looks best with my eye shape. I make sure that everything is even. I measure and I also pray to God. And I've been doing my wing since I was 13, probably. I love a blushy red look. I just take my blush and then I take it, I swirl it, and I work it into my creases. I just take this, work it, work it, work it. It just makes you look cold, like you're freezing cold. And I don't know what's so sexy about being freezing cold, but I like to look like I'm freezing cold. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I I left my jacket there. Can I borrow your jacket? Basically. Okay, so I have a lash line and it goes by Icy Wifey Cosmetics. It's like a spaced out sort of doll-like lash. I have a smaller eye, so I take this. I could lose like one of those spaces, so I cut that. And that should be okay, and then I measure it. I can maybe lose like one more. Get y'all glue. Fan it out. Let it dry, give it a moment. And I just place it. Some people use tweezers, whatevs, but I don't. And then I do the next eye. So then I take this and I have two bottles of it because they're way too small. Okay, these are called Freck. So I take this and I shake it up. Make sure it gets on the brush. And I dot, and I love this stuff because look, you dot it and then you pick it up and then you just boom and it's so easy and you just kind of put it down leave some of them darker than the others sometimes i do my forehead so i can be like this boom 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 so this is icy wifey cosmetics chromes this is just a loose eyeshadow and it looks like this but then it goes on like this and it kind of reflects a blue, but then also like a deep pink. Press that down. And it's like a peacocky sort of moment. It's like very blue at certain angles and very pink at others. And then boom, it's a little colorful moment. So for a lip, I can do like an ombre. So I take this sort of deep mauve and then feather that out a little bit. And it should look like that, like you're not really wearing anything. So then next, I'm doing my hair. Ignore my hairline, we're gonna cover that. I know there's hella glue and it's everywhere. I'm gonna start to curl this right now. My hair is 40 inches right now. It's okay. So I start with the front bangs. Okay, boom. And then I take this 
apart. I split him. Boom, and then you swing, and then you swing. That's it, that's pretty much the Doja Cat look. We did a little peacock moment on the eye and uh, a little mermaid moment on the hair. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Vogue.